Welcome back, folks, to another episode. As you can tell, we are still in beautiful Florida. We've got palm trees, sunshine. It's sunny and 75 out here. We just drove about two hours south of where we were in the first video. Now we're close to, what's the biggest place we're nearby? Biggest place? Or what? where would people know? Most well-known place? Sure. Probably West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. We're yeah. at the, I mean, Buddy's obviously ready for the beach. I'm ready for the King Boy Beach. The thing is, I wore that shirt too unintentionally, <laughs> so we will, because I'm at this hoodie's coming off as soon as we get out there and start fishing. So we're both me kinky boys, but we're starting off at a place called Ripper's Restaurant. So we're getting some breakfast. Uh, we woke up at, I woke up at about 5.30. We got dressed, we headed down. It's 8.30 a.m. now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to get some breakfast in. I'm gonna take you guys along. We're vlogging everything, okay? This isn't just, hey guys, we're fishing. No, I'm taking you day by day throughout our entire trip here in Florida. Like I said, we still don't know how long we're gonna stay here. It's kind of hard for me to, I mean, obviously I miss Ralph and I miss, you know, obviously my wife, but it's 70 and 75 is tough to beat when it's negative five, high of negative five back home. So, his wiener's big. Breakfast of Champions. Oh, the guy gets mountain sweet shoe, too. Mountain shoe. Oh, oh. oh. No, mountain shoe. Down. Mountain shoe for breakfast. You're not about that life. I mean, sometimes. The sweet tea of the breakfast trap. Oh God, yeah. I think like this is an odd combination we've got going on. You're in Southport. You gotta have the sweet tea. Okay. All right. All right. We're going. We're going sweet tea then. This is what dreams are made of. Oh, the sweet tea. You told me the French toast was good, so I got oh, that. Yeah. But then he also told me the burrito's good, so I also got that. And I'm really not even that hungry, so it's gonna be one of those deals where I eat like a quarter of each. But when you know, it's like when in Rome, you know, you just gotta try it. Is that the saying? Sure. Anyways, I'll show you guys the food when we get here. Shoo! Baylor made it. How you feeling? You excited? He's gonna be our he's gonna be our guide for the day. How you, you feeling good about today's adventure? Or you, uh -huh. it, it, it's fishing, right? You just never know. Long as pull jets here. We're getting tight. Oh, really? Oh, I got this burrito here. You said this is one of the best breakfast burritos oh, you've, you've ever had? Oh, yeah. Oh, breakfast slaps. Get in there. How's that make you feel? That was a good breakfast burrito, yeah. Right. yeah. I did get French toast, even though I'm literally not going to eat half this burrito. But cool just said I got to try it, so. Oh, God, yeah. I have good French toast, too. Well, we're going to plow through some food, and um, we're going after this. Uh, my house. T Swift is killing it. All right, well, we can't talk in here because we're about to get copyrighted by T Swift. So we'll see you guys at Pool Jet's house. Shoo! We made it to Pool Jet's house here. We've, uh, Baylor, he's, he's he grabbing the boat. Baylor's grabbing the boat. And, uh, we went, we got some sandwiches. But the idea is hopefully that's just our backup because we bought a bunch of stuff for Catch Clean Cook. Now, I don't do saltwater fishing very often. I've done it a few times, but I have no idea. Like, if I caught something, there's a 99% chance I wouldn't know what it is. So we're literally going out to catch any. Whatever bites, as long as you can legally harvest that animal, that fish, it's gonna go in the fryer. So we got some stuff to cook. That's the idea for lunch, but we did get a backup of uh, some sandwiches and stuff like that. So we gotta load up some gear. Oh, you wanna, wanna see the vicious dog? Oh God. Oh God, yeah. Her name's sassy. Sassy. Oh God, yeah. Oh God, I'm nervous now. Sassy! What's up, buddy? What's up, Pooch? Oh my God, you're so Girl. short. What's up, Sassy? What you doing? Sassy! I think you and Finn would be buds. Oh yeah, she's you, just like Finn. She you, loves Finn. You and Finn would have a great time. Nice All right, well, let's get everything rigged up, ready to go, and get out on the water. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! We're on the boat, folks. Look at this guy. <laughs> We're killing it. So this is oh, that's the the lift. We're going up and down. So now we're now we're getting in. We're in Baylor's boat now. Uh, we got some Sammies, like I said. We got some ice, some cold Mountain Shoe. Got my and boy shoe did we get on. we getting bait still? We still got to get bait or? I don't think we're gonna bother with it. We'll throw lures. Really? Yeah. We're going try hard. Oh yeah. It's like what Zach does when he goes ice fishing. Oh true. Zach's I'm nice like, let me use a waxy, and he's like, let me use a plastic, and he always wins. So oh, yeah. we're going after. What are we going after again? Uh, right now, Pompano. P Pompano. Yeah, you got it. Pompano. Yep. Got it. Well. And we're in a canal right now. And you said you saw a largey, so yeah, this, this is like a cruising. brackish. So we are saltwater fishing, but I guess uh, some of it's fresh water. Want to hold your footing for a second. Really? Ew! Oh, we're on the move now. <laughs> this is cool. We're just in a canal. There's literally just houses everywhere, and, and we're going to the ocean, right? It's uh, close to it. Close to it. Is it like a what's it looking like? You'll be able to see the ocean. Oh, the ocean's okay. pretty rough today. Really? Yeah, we'll, we'll die out there. I want to surf. Should, want? should I pair? Should I come out? You like our shirts? Kinky it's too bad boy. we don't even sell these things anymore. I know, rip. Rip. We should bring it back. If you guys want to bring back Kinky Boy, you guys let me know. With that being said, we're gonna start driving Maybe, the boat wait, down actually, the canal. No, and see what, huh? you know, you know who we should bring it back for? Who? Beefcake Club members. Oh, ooh, ooh. That's who we should bring it back if you guys for. don't know what the Beefcake Club is, okay, it's linked down below. Below. You can check it out. Exclusive gaming, exclusive live streams, bonus vlogs, stuff like that. And I'm working on exclusive Beefcake merch where you can only access it and purchase it if you're a Beefcake Club member. So maybe if all you Beefcake Club members are into kinky boy things, we'll bring it back for you guys. That being said, stay tuned.
You want to wake him up with a shoe or what? Shoo! Now, see, now everyone knows that you're here. How does that make you feel, Baylor? <laughs> you're, you're embarrassed. You regret oh, this okay. decision taking us out, don't you? Yes, you, def you definitely regret well, it. Well, you I'm guys are us on this boat. You, you catching them or what? Yeah, we got a couple. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, boys. Well, we made it out to the spot. We just in we just embarrassed yeah. everybody. Uh, and uh, well, there's a lot of people fishing there, so obviously. Spots decent. Pomp in the middle of the Pomp channel, by the way. Wait, Pompadour. <laughs> Pompadour, you got it. Oh, see, I got it right. Pompadour, or or what's what's another option? Uh, you may catch a snapper. Snap? Really? She broke off, big. And she about just died, or what's she might have just caught a PB. I'm not sure. Anyways, we're getting dangling. Finally, we made it out here. It looks like Katrina's coming in. Nah, you're back. Uh, but I think we're gonna be okay. So we're fishing off this bridge. And we're, what are you what are you tying on for me? Uh, I'm giving you a little shrimp, but I threw him on a jig head so he gets down there. J you know jig and jig and shrimp. Yep. They didn't have live shrimp, so we've got dead shrimp. Yeah, make her look live. You gotta sit there and give it the old twitchy twitchy so stay tuned yeah he's struggling. buddy's been oh buddy's oh we're hooked up, up. It's not a oh what is it uh -oh. mackerel. Yeah, mackerel. mackerel is that a mackerel yeah. only you mackerel can eat if you want. really look at that guy first fish boys hey i'll take it well mackerel down on the ground not exactly the target species but an edible species that again that's the whole idea coming out here doing a fresh catch clean cook so one fish down, we're still gonna keep fishing and try to get one of the, what are the, Pompano? Pompano. Pompano. Pompano? Pompano, yeah. Pompado. No, no. Pompano. No. We're still trying to get the Pompano. Oh! Hooked up? Hooked oh up. God, what do we got? Oh God. Rib. Big Sheila? No, oh. rib! Rib! You think that was Big Sheila? I don't know what that was. Oh man, they're starting to bite, boys. I'm sweat. I'm going try hard mode. This is, this is like, uh, this is what Van Damme does out here. You know, whatever they, who, who's like the Van Dam of uh, Pomp, Pompano? Salt water? Pompano. Just Pompano? Who's Van Dam? I don't think there is. is it, you, you are. I'm pretty Pompy. Oh, oh, so I'm already with Van Dam. Imagine that. All right, well, I'm going hardcore jigging now. This is this is a rig I've never quite seen before. It's literally two different deals. Like you just threw a, a feathered hook oh, I, on a jig and then you tie it together. Yeah. All right, well, see if we can catch Pompano. There you go, there you go. Uh-oh. Come on, big big chunky. Let's feel, see it. Feeling like a pompano. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Feeling like a pompano. No. Oh, yeah. Really? It's not even a big one either. No. Sheesh. Look at that guy. Dude, they are feisty. That looks like a little, I don't even it's know. It's like a, like a jack. Kind of like a jack or, or a permit, depending on what you know. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Is, that. is that good eating size? Yeah, that is good. Really? We got lunch now, boys. Now we're excited. They are just ornery little suckers. Oh, yeah. They don't quit. They're fighting. Shoo! Well, I'm over here just giving it a dangle. Ain't, ain't got nothing going on, but Baylor's just going X game mode. Got the Mac and the Pompa now. So now we've definitely got enough fish for lunch, but they're starting to bite, so we're going to keep giving it a dangle. Oh, oh. full jet sucked up. Uh-oh, what that do you got there, buddy? Big at all. Really? Oh, oh what, what's this strat here? I think I lost something. Or what is? Huh? Oh, what is you that? Want a guy? lizard fish? What? What's yeah. that? His name's lizard fish. He's a lizard fish. Really? Man. What's he good for? Nothing. Really? How in the heck? I don't even know how you hooked that little sucker. Oh, I just. There we go. I got one. I'm hooked up, boys. Oh God. Lady fish. Oh, rip. Catch and release, boys. We didn't want that one anyway, right? No. Lady fish. Is yeah. that what that was? Yeah, they're fun though. So what? What is that? Just another? I feel it's like, like all these... a, it's like a four man tarpon. They call them. Oh, right. Like not good version. You can't eat them. You can't oh, you can't eat, can't eat them? them? They're no. They're oh, the then hey, grow. listen, guy. I know what I'm doing. I'm just releasing the fish you can't eat. I just had a ladyfish hooked up, but you can't eat it. And I ain't, I ain't interested. I'm here for catch and cooks only. There's one. Oh, God. oh we're hooked up on something, boys. Oh, oh man, this might be the juice, son. It is, it is tugging away right now. Yup, I'm thinking it's, it's one of those pompano things. You said, feeling it? You, you said they fight pretty hard. He's, he's fighting a little bit harder than that lady fish. Dude, he hasn't shown himself quite yet. Why are you babying well, him? I ain't trying to lose him. I'm trying really? to, I'm trying to eat some, eat some lunch. Goodness, buddy. Dude, look, look he's, at this. Look he's, at this he thing. looks like he's beating you right now. Shoo! Oh, he's fighting good now. Oh yeah. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that is pompano, isn't it? Yep. Yep. All right, nice pompano. Nice one, yeah. Let's go, boys. Dude, these things fight like crazy. Goodness. Is there a strad boat flip here? Or well, I would do the old boat flip, old bass style. Little bass, bass boat flip. Old okay. Bass a lot of pressure. Come on, swing in. 
Come on. Nope, nope. I would take oh. another frame. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Shoo! That's a good one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's I'll a real big one, yeah. I'll take it. Look at that. Dude, those things fight. It's like old, crazy. Yeah. For this, like size, yeah. for side pound, for pound. Oh, he, he got it done good there, too. Right on the drop. Oh, stick the finger she, in. She gone. That's what we're after, boys. Pompano action. These are gonna taste real nice. Like, how much? You get quite a bit of meat off these suckers. Yeah, they're basically all. Meat, really, so. just an absolute beauty. Shoo! Finally. Oh, he's going in the. Uh, he's going in the old ice box. He's gonna be lunch. Oh, gotcha. oh, gotcha. oh, pull, oh. oh rip. It might be a lady. Oh God, what's Pool Jack got going on here? I don't here? like that. R big lady oh, guy. I'm big into the ladies. He's, yeah. he's big into the ladies. Oh, yeah. he's, he's got the old lady fish. It's a jumper. You said it's like a kind of like a tarpon, right? That's kind of oh, what they yeah, do too. Something like that. Oh, shoot! Look at that thing. Oh, oh geez, nice. Right, you jump in the boat. Hey, oh, oh, hey, there. you settle down there, Mister. He broke it. Yeah, you're. They're not. Rip. That's the third third yeah, lure you broke lost. Clean through the knot. Big knot guy. Rip. There's a third one. Oh yeah, yeah. We're hooked up, boys. That might be the one too. It was giving it the old tippity tap like six times. Oh, what's up, Junior? We got another one, I think. He's a fighter, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, Shoo! Pump. No, I no, think it's a pomp. Pomp daddy coming in hot. Uh, no. No? Is it? Is it pomp? Yeah. Oh, God. Shoo! Let's go. We're feasting today, son. Shoo! Right in the boat. Let's go, baby. We got another one, boys. Shoo! Another pomp. We're getting, we're getting the vibe of it. Just he's got to get the old, this the magic touch, the old tippity tap. These, I will say, probably pound for pound, hardest fighting fish. Like I don't think, I mean, I think smallmouth fight, not even close. You take a smallmouth that this weighs like, what, two pounds, three pounds yeah. maybe, not even close. These things are absolute freaking brutes, but he's going in the cooler. Oh, biggin. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's got to be Big Sheila. Big. No, big. don't think so. Not a palm. No, what is it? Not a palm. It's not coming in. It's coming in too easy. Oh. What is? Is that snapper? A little lane snapper. Big See, I know. I know my guy. ocean fish. Snapper. A little lane snapper. He's just a baby, though. If, they, if, if, if those get bigger, they taste pretty good. Oh yeah. Really? Too small. To keep them. Yeah, he's. A, that's just a little dinky. Yeah. Keep, cool looking fish, though. That's what I like about. I mean, I never saw water fish, but like, every time I do it. It's like, you just never know what you're getting. Didn't I say that in the last vlog? It's like a yeah, box of chocolate. Like a box of chocolate. You just yeah, never yeah. know what you're going to get. Yeah, you're literally just getting whatever, so. Yeah. Shoo! Whoa, well, folks, we took, we left the, the, the busyness, the chaos, went back in the mangroves. And so we've got Pompano, which is, you guys aren't a giant fan, is what you're kind of saying. Like, but apparently it's like an expensive fish. It's a very sought after. Is it is it like food. a is it an acquired taste or are you guys just weird? I think we're just weird. Like, like do everyone most everyone people like it? To, everyone loves yeah, it. Okay, it's so of people's favorite. Th this is what it looks like. We we got one filleted now. We're saving the rest for later. Obviously, we don't need a ton of meat, but this is gonna do enough for lunch. So we left the skin on one of them. We brought the fixings for the classic hot sauce and batter and oil, and we're ready to fry it. We bought this grill. It didn't have like a grill grate to where you could literally lay the fish on it. If I was thinking, I would have brought some tin foil, which would have worked. So I'm gonna attempt to do something I've never done before, which is basically put skin down. Go ahead and throw this guy in. I got a little oil in there just so that the skin doesn't like stick, but we're gonna try it. We'd, we've got, what do we got for seasoning? You got some seasoning handy? Boom, lemon pepper. We didn't bring any duck seasoning down, unfortunately, but lemon pepper is kind of a classic. It's a staple for especially fish. So we're, we got her on the, uh, the pan there. We're gonna take this lemon pepper seasoning and uh, sprinkle some on. I think the hardest challenge in this is getting it cooked through with an open-faced grill on a skillet in the wilderness where there's wind and stuff that'll keep the top of that fish kind of cold. So there's a chance we might have to kind of flip it and try to cook the other side that way. I'm not really sure. We don't have a lid or anything. So go ahead and throw some of this lemon pepper on it. Oh, that's, that's looking pretty good though. Lemon pepper's on. We're gonna give it a taste. If it if we end up botching this, I'm trying to do it like the, the correct way. Well, it's not the correct way, but we're trying to leave the skin on. If not, we've got the rest of this, which is skinless, and we can chop it up into like little nuggets and fry it. And we know that's gonna be good. So you guys stay tuned. Shoo! We actually did pretty good, boys. We ended up flipping it. Got just a little oil in there, that lemon pepper. We, we kind of stabbed it a little bit just to make sure it's 
completely cooked through. Go ahead and toss that guy on there. Look at, I feel like that's something you get at a restaurant. It's like black and fish. Bad, yeah. I think we did pretty darn good. So we're gonna go ahead and let this guy cool off. You think we should we should fry it just to get a comparison? Might as well try it. Cause you're saying that I mean, frying it's, yeah, the nugget's are already ready. Cause I'm, I'm a big fry guy, I love frying it. So this is kind of like more of a traditional way of cooking this. So we're gonna let this cool off and get the rest of it fried up. All right, I'm going in boys. Just a little nuggy. Okay. It tastes like something I'd get at a restaurant, honestly. No. Yeah. It's a perfect flavor. I'm not sure about the fish though. It's fishier than it's I different. would expect. It's not bad. I feel like is it a is it a disgrace to compare it to like a catfish? Is that is that is that, is that frowned upon? Dude, it tastes like a catfish. For him. Yeah. It's not bad. You gonna try it? Like, I don't know, it just wasn't it was nothing special. It tastes like a fish. Like it I wasn't like this is game changer or this is dog shit. Like it was okay. You know. It just tastes like fish. I, don't, I feel like there's not like a, oh my God, this is so unique. I like it. You don't think it's, you don't think it's bad? I actually like it. Really? Mm -hmm. The skin gives it good flavor. You trying it, Pool Jet? Yeah, I'll try it. See, see, it's see what you think. I'm giving it the old, the old fish batter fry over here, so we'll see how that goes. Like what part of it do you not like? Does it not just remind you of like a catfish or like just a normal fish? Honestly, it's not bad. It, it tastes just like a fish. I, 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 I catfish might be a little talked down upon, but like it, it's like just, it. if I went to a restaurant and I ordered like a fish, I feel like this is what it would taste like. Maybe it's not, piece. Let, me, let me get another one in there. Toss me a nuggie. There you go. Maybe, maybe I got a bad piece. I mean, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't bad. Okay, that piece was like way better. What, what happened there? Like actual what happened there? Why was that piece fire? No, that was- like I actually like it a lot. Wait, now I'm confused. Let me get, hang on. Okay, my first piece was dog Yeah. <laughs> That's good. You're trying to be nice. No, that, that first piece was better. like, it just tasted like, oh, okay fish. Dude, those last two pieces yeah, I had you were- You gotta get a good chunk. Yeah, those, were, those are good. Yes, yeah, so that was, how's this going? Oh, no. Okay, They're probably pretty close to being done. We'll take these guys off and let them cool off. I, yeah, I, okay, I'm sorry for the catfish reference, you, you professional saltwater anglers that are freaking out right now. The first piece I had, it just, it tastes like cod or something. It wasn't really? like anything special. It just tasted kind of fishy. That last piece, well, yeah, give me, give me one more. I'm gonna get, right. I'm, I'm gonna get one more chunk It's good. The skin. Yeah, it's fresh off the skin. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah way better. Much better. Yeah. Yeah, I got the back end here. That was, the, that was not the deal. Over here was the good stuff, so. All right, we'll take these nuggies off and see what it's like fried. Golden Krispies, look at that. A couple big pieces right there. They're freaking hot though. Oh, God. Rip. All right, I'm gonna try this little piece, see if it's not too hot here. I'm not really sure how to describe that. It's not bad. It's so different though. Like it does not so at all different. taste like the taste, the same fish at all. It does like not. The one fried fish that's like way different. Than yeah, that. it does so not weird. taste like how the grilled one went. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It, it there's, can't be bad. There's no, there's no like fishy taste. Look, it's golden. But I think I the flavor is better on the grilled, surprisingly. Which I'm usually all about that fried life. But what do you think? It's good. I didn't, I didn't get like a fishy taste. But there's not that was the grilled. Okay, like I said, I take back what I said. My first initial impressions was a bad piece. I'm cooking on one of these doohickeys, so I'm sure it was just uneven cooking on my end. Because once we got towards not the tail side, the head side, it was way better. What, what would you think? It's a weird. It's a way different taste. Though. Like it's a weird. Like it's, it's you can't, you can't explain a, it. It's a you weird have texture. Have so for some of you freshwater guys, if you've ever had like paddlefish, it's like it's it's not flaky. It's dense, right? Is that is that is that a correct way to describe that? Like yeah, it's it's, 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 it's a dense it's a dense meat. Yeah, it's not it, like it, flaky. It's, it's, it's not like a firm. bluegill. Yeah, yeah, firm, firm. That's the, that's that's the right. We're all about firm. Big firm guy. Do you, see what you think. I think. I mean, it's still good. Like I, I, I'm, like I'll still eat it. Like I can eat all of this. Yeah, right? yeah. But Ooh, it's way wow. different than any like a fried snapper. Yes. Or like a bluegill or something. Yeah, it's way it, it doesn't have that light flakiness to it. It's just a it's a dense uh -huh. piece of meat, and it does taste good. It doesn't taste bad. Don't get us wrong. But surprisingly, I would pick the grilled version over the fried version. So let's see, let's see what old Pool Jet thinks here. Yeah, grilled's way better. Really? Oh, yeah, it was better. Yeah, I think I think grilled wins. Yeah. I think it does. There it wasn't it much like fish flavor. No. Kind of, kind of bland when yeah, you Yeah, it was, it was bland. It like soaks the oils out or something. That, yeah, that's what it didn't fry nearly as good as I expected no, it either. No. It's because there's when we fry it, there's no skin on it. Yeah, true. The flavor comes from yeah, oh, and, that's it. Yeah, that is it. gives it the buttery flavor yep. of grilled. And hmm. it's, that's I think that's what it is. We're missing we're missing the flavor of it. The skin had some really good buttery flavor to it that was just completely unique it wasn't like the taste of the lemon pepper or anything like that but on a side note do you realize how sunburned you are um look at this oh yeah Rip. 
big rip. <laughs> With that being said, we gotta head in and get some aloe for for pool jet here. He's gonna he's gonna be dying. But die. hopefully you enjoyed today's saltwater expedition. My first ever pompano. Pompano. Yeah, pompano is how you say that, right? right. First right. ever pompano, and then I caught a almost caught a ladyfish, yeah. and then was that that was oh it? Yeah, we, yeah, it was a variety. Okay, smorgasbord. But that is what the fish that we kept today to catch, clean, cook. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and stay tuned. We're still here in Florida. We're, you guys gonna see more videos here in Florida just because for the fact that it's negative five back at home and I'm not about to go home anytime soon. Ralph, I've heard he's not dead, so that's a dub in my book. Uh, with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next one and peace. folks to another episode we are still beautiful state of florida it's just great weather so we're gonna be trying to do a little bit of dang we're going with some shrimp we don't have live shrimp but we got some dead shrimp and uh, we're just gonna kind of see see what happens oh well, that's the deal oh that might be a better one yeah it's still freaking breezy out here but we're literally on an island right now like there's there's nothing around it's just crazy